What's up, dorks? I am on the road today in Ohio, and I'm passing a little place along the way you may have heard of. Um, a great stop for people like us that like the weird, that like the roadside attractions. I am in Fairfield, Ohio, and I am stopping at Jungle Gems International Market. Now this is the original Jungle Gems. There are two in the uh, greater Cincinnati area. This is the one farther west. It's in between Cincinnati and Dayton. But uh, today, I'm gonna go in, check out all the weird that's in here. Uh, I hear great things, and I love the weird. And um, I couldn't drive by without stopping in to check it out. So come on with me. We'll go see what um, dorky stuff is to be had inside of Jungle Gems. There is a monorail on the roof over there. Um, now that is just a display model, but look, there's a track here that goes around the outside of the building, uh, which I believe is a working monorail that we can ride, so hopefully that's running today. We'll have to see. on the table of meats over here which I am drooling over but look at this absinthe infused salami what I'm about to hallucinate on some meat because <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try it we were over here in cheese land apparently look at all these uh, old bit of equipment they have up on top of here I guess it's old cheese producing equipment I don't know but yeah Look what it made, isn't it glorious? Jeez. Still over here in Cheese World, and I found the big cheese. It weighs 762 pounds of cheese. This will go great with my keto diet. Now how to get it into my Honda Fit. Over here we have some kind of uh, deli wizard apparently. He's over here by the deli. Um, what is that? A live pit. Oh, it's an olive bar, okay. Olive pit, not the live pit. There's the other, okay. Is it just me to see kind of like Chevy Chase? Yeah, especially, have you seen Community? The episode where they go to the uh, prop department and getting like <laughs> the cookie crisp wizard costume <laughs> that's what it looks like to me yeah, cookie crisp wizard I cannot think of anything less appetizing than hemp water no thank you I'm not heading in there right now but look go into the Acropolis or whatever if you want to get your kitchen supplies I don't know why it's Grecian themed but oh, there it is I yeah, wandered over here into the pet section and um, I didn't find a basket when I came into the store, maybe because of the entrance I came into, but I found one just kind of randomly sitting over here in pets. Um, and I've been pushing this thing. This is the smoothest basket I've ever seen. It's like it's gliding on air pockets. Look at that. No sound. Just smooth. This is... Delightful. Is this a selfie wall? I don't know, but I'm gonna take a picture. These are sponges to clean your dishes. That is the last thing I want to think about when I'm trying to clean my dishes is a dog taking a leak. <sighs> okay. It is September 10th, people. They have the Christmas stuff out already. It has begun. I mean, there's fall stuff over here, too, but it's a little bit early. So he said he's still in his pajamas. 
And just in case you get exhausted from all the shopping, they do have an ice cream graters shop in-house. It's not on my diet, but just in case it's on yours, there you go. Okay, I guess I should have been looking up. Came into the toy department. We have, uh, looks like Ron uh, on the Quidditch team floating around a carousel because that goes together. Over here they have a uh, studio. I guess they do podcasts here at times. So that's what we got going on there. And this is, like I said, this is his toy section. It's a motorcycle on, on the top of the shelves because why not? And um, an idea machine. Got to get a little closer and check out what that is. So, so what does the idea machine do? Nothing. It does nothing? No, it's just a decoration. Oh, so it doesn't give you any ideas? Nope. So what are the handles for? Well, originally, it did not have the brain okay. on it. And it was in an amusement park. And you picked how much voltage you thought you could stay. Oh, you would shock yourself. Right. And you'd hold on like an electric chair and get a shock. Huh. But then Jungle got her and he put the brain on for oh. some reason. That was not <laughs> it, like that would be a good idea to shock yourself. It ended up here. Oh boy, I found a map. And I thought I was making a pretty good way through the store here, but I have really just been over here. So I got all this left to look in. But at least I know my way around now. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Oh wow. I apparently came in the wrong entrance. This giraffe entrance is the place to be. Look at this. Waterfall with animals. That sign is amazing. This guy's my favorite. Look on his face like he knows something that you don't. That is so cool. These old uh, stadium chairs over here. Giant fruits and vegetables out front here. Over here in front of the health and beauty area as i said like original jungle jams 1974 uh, there is another one uh, we got this dude over here getting his uh workout in and then this guy he looks like he's in the right area because he looks sick of being here oh you know if there's a button i gotta push it Nothing happened. Sir, I pushed your button. That's disappointing. So the grocery section is uh, just a grocery section. There's not much going on. Oh, there's a chandelier. That's weird for a grocery store. But, oh my gosh. And there's an elephant blowing the air into the building. I didn't see that until now. But this guy is the main attraction, I guess. He said something a second ago, but he didn't want to talk anymore. Sir, we are waiting. I know, as soon as I put this phone down, he's going to say something. All right, I can't wait on you all day. He just pretty much says, welcome to soup or something. You guys want some soup? Yeah. He's singing. Is that him? Yes, yes. Did you notice that acres and acres of delicious food right here in Jungle Gems? It ought to be so good in Campbell's soup. Ooh, like toasty grilled cheese and tomato soup. The crack is on top. But kids, this is Jungle Gems. Let's get that adventurous. You can use Campbell's soup in all your home cooked recipes. <laughs> oh, they're always blending together in perfect harmony. Yum. Everybody knows your mom. You're a doll. Oh, keep it up, keep it up. You're all American. You're 
Totally worth the wait. <laughs> have a blast from the past here. Does anybody remember these things? Oh my gosh, I used to drink these religiously when I was younger. They only had two wild cherry left. I grabbed them both. Okay, they have a cigar bar over here with these giant cigars hanging out front, which is pretty neat. I don't smoke, but it's still pretty neat. Um, over here near the liquor and beer section, they are giving out free samples of liquor, which does not sound like a good idea. <laughs> If you're not driving, I guess. Still over here in the wine, Marilyn is doing her thing. Uh, and around the wine section, they have these little bar things there where you can pay 20 bucks and just go around sipping like 40 different kinds of wine. They got them over there too, so I'm not into wine, but if you are, it sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And then this fella. Hi. Okay, I guess I will. Um, I thought these are just individual porta potties, but apparently they go into like a Narnia situation where you go in and there's lots of room back in there, which is weird. Okay. Here I am in the toilet. Here's a, is that a banana? What is it on my head? That's, oh, it's the, like the moon from, it's the standard <laughs> porta potty, not porta potty, outhouse decoration, so. Yeah. You wonder what's down the hole? There's nothing, there's no hole. Oh, I made a nice shiny imprint of my butt cheeks. So. We've got some cool um, pinball machines over here in case uh, you're here with your parents and they got a little too deep into the wine bar situation. You can kill some time while you wait for them to work it off. I'm over here in the candy section. We have. Um, is that Jungle Jim himself? I don't know, but he's made out of jelly beans. I know that much. We have the wall of jelly bellies there. All these weird gummy candies. Awesome. Eminem saluteness. Choosing proper candy. There's a cooking school up there. I see chairs. Nobody's cooking, though. But again, so many weird gummy candies here. And then this guy. That's awesome. They even have a movie candy section over here with the boxes you typically buy at the movie theater that everyone comes and buys at the store beforehand because it's a quarter of the price. Get some old filming equipment up there. Just in case you forgot where you're at. Candy. Right, we have an exotic meats section. I don't know what they consider exotic, but apparently according to the sign up there, we got some buffalo, gator, elk, and duck. Let's go have a look. I don't see anything exotic in here yet. Oh, so ground duck, there you go. Eero slices, those are delicious. I love Eero's. Gra what? Ground camel. Did you know you could eat camel? I didn't. Ground ostrich. Ground yak. Ground goat and kangaroo. Rabbit. And there's the elk. I can't get over the camel though. I didn't know you could eat camels. I wonder if it's sandy. Okay, I couldn't get to my phone fast enough. What? Trix Rabbit is playing the keyboard. And the leprechaun is playing the guitar. Oh, and is it Buzz? Is that his name? Buzzy? He's playing the drums. This is awesome. Oh, he's singing too. So weird. I've just now noticed they're on a giant boat. The SS Minnow. 
like from Gilligan's Island. Oh, there is Gilligan right there. As you can see, there's more weird and craziness back into there, which I'm about ready to go. Um, Bart Simpson's here. Kinda. He looks a little derpy. But yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Come on, Japan. You know what you're doing here. That is just nasty. Look. We sell sea monsters here. What is that? That is not look appetizing. You eat. Yeah, they have just a hot sauce section over here. Uh, I'm not a hot sauce person. I did use it a little bit, but yeah, it's a section dedicated to just spicy sauce. So it's ready to come get it. All the dried peppers in the wall, you can make your own. They got this display here little hat on top over here to the uh, fireman in case you didn't get warning enough uh, this giant wall of, of hot sauces they have them alphabetized that's a lot of heat just in case the section over there where they sell you live seed monsters wasn't enough you can come up here and watch them catch your dinner apparently Maybe you can catch your own. They rent a pole somewhere. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Rent a pole somewhere and come up and catch your own dinner. But yeah, we're over here still in the international section. We've got King Kong over there overlooking the Nepalese section for some reason. Uh, Great Britain. We got uh, China here. East Europe, India, German. I saw a Hawaiian section. And hold up. I've seen it all now. Is that Daniel Boone? Who is that? Some kind of caveman overseeing the uh, Indian section. I don't know why. But uh, we're going to keep moving around. And Oh my gosh, he's moving. Oh no, I think it's Robin Hood and Little John. Ah, I get it now. That's why he's in Great Britain. Now it makes sense. Okay. I like German food. I like sausages. So I think I'm going to get these to try them. But this just looks like hot dogs in a jar to me. We'll see you later. They sell a lot of this stuff at home, but this is the good stuff right here. Screaming Mimi's comes in three heats. I have not had this heat yet, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. Oh my gosh, happening right above my head and I'm about to miss it. This is like the dude from Chuck E. Cheese. Turn this way. They just put a sombrero on him. He's still creepy. Okay, here's my jungle gym hall. It's filling a uh, plastic tote full. Yeah, I, I got way too much, but we're gonna have not, lots of fun and interesting treats and snacks to try. Um, I spent nearly two hours in there walking around. Good, good exercise, but I went in it was light outside, and now it's nighttime. So, we'll go through the hall in the light of day and see how many mistakes I made. All right, so here is the hall. Got some of that. Nice sauces. The blast from the past there with the flavor. Okay, everybody's yelling. Some weird gummies that my wife requested. Candy. My boy wanted a... And a weird toy, candies and boozies and weird chippies, so we're going to have a good time with this. All right, we made a pretty good dent already in what was the haul from Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, what am I thinking? Jungle Gems, that's the same thing, right? Now we opened the Smarties, like, you know, like British M&M's. Didn't really care for them, it's like knockoff M&M's. Um, we have one of these things. These are delicious. So much so that we've gone on Amazon and ordered some more already. Uh, we ate most of our candy already. 
The gummy Fruit Loops tasted just like Fruit Loops. Um, the chocolate tree stumps tasted just like tree stumps. No, not really, but they were delicious. I ate my salami whips. Those are really good. I shared those with the kids. I tried my absinthe sausage, which just tasted like a mix between pepperoni and uh, salami. I didn't really taste anything other than that, a little, little on the spicy side, but uh, it was good though. And the jar of German wieners or sausages, whatever they were called, looked like hot dogs in a jar, tasted like giant Vienna weenies. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of Vienna weenies, but maybe if I chop them up, put them in some eggs or something, they might be good. Who knows? Um, yeah, and the Clearly Canadians were a hit. Again, a blast from the past. Tasted just like memories. Um, <laughs> so we've had a good time with it. The kids um, challenged themselves with all the crybabies, and they were adequately challenged. Um, but yeah, it was a good, uh, good first trip to Jungle Gyms. We'll be going back. I'm not allowed to go alone anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, enjoyed my time, enjoyed the haul we brought back, still have more stuff to try. Um, overall, really fun little trip, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, going on the trip with me, and yeah, check out Jungle Gems. It's a fun time. I'll talk to you later, guys. Spooky stuff coming soon. I love you. Bye.